probably when I was sitting down. But this is very much a part of physics and engineering is that things, uh, things don't always go according to plan and you have to troubleshoot and you have to try and get things working. And it's working! Yes! Okay. Let's give him some applause just for getting it working. Okay. All right, so. All right, here's the theremin. Basically, uh, my hands are functioning as the two halves of two electrical components which are controlling the frequency of the circuits which are generating both volume and pitch for this thing. So my left hand controls volume by its proximity to this antenna. And then I have pitch, so I can. So you see it all just depends on how far his hand is from the antenna. So you can play this instrument, like he was saying, without ever actually touching anything. You can just wave your hand around near it. And now he's got some spoons he's going to play on. <laughs> so if you watch his hands waving, really, maybe I'll say it, his hand is actually acting as part of what we would call a capacitor in electronics. So as it comes up, he's changing the frequency of the circuit. Now, it's interesting. This was invented something like 80 years ago, but there's actually been classical music written for this. There have been a few people who were really, really good at this. If you get really good at it, if you know exactly where to put your hand, exactly how far away, you can get exactly whatever pitch you want. Now, for most of us, you know, we don't know how to do that, but if you really are good at it, you can actually play all kinds of music on this thing. So. But it's kind of neat for two reasons. One, because he built it himself and also I think just the music itself. Now we can have one person come down. Let's have one volunteer. Let's see, I'll try and pick somebody a little farther back this time. You. Come on down and we'll let you try the theremin. By the way, after the show, if anybody would like to, Mish will turn the theremin back on and you can come down and you can, so you can, we can have many of you try it out after the show. All right. All right, what is your name? Sam. Sam, step right up. All you do, take your hand, and as you move it closer and farther from that, you'll play some music. All right. If you want to touch the spoons, you can. And you can try touching your hand up closer that way, too, if you want. All right. All right. Think you need one of those at home? Yeah, OK. <laughs> Thank you.